All right, welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. If you like my videos, please hit that like button. All right, today I've got to install all the plumbing for our brand new above ground pool here. Um, I really have no idea how I'm going to do it. I mean, I know how to do plumbing, but in general, I don't know how I'm going to lay out my filter, pump. Okay, so I have a sand filter. I have a 1.5 horsepower Hayward pump and um, Hayward sand filter. This is the original to the old pool. Um, the sand filter is probably about 17 years old. I've replaced the uh, top of it, but the filter is fine, so I'm not going to replace that. There's no sense in replacing the filter. I replaced the pool pump a couple of years ago, so it's good, so I never replaced that. But we have a brand new Hayward uh, 50,000 BTU heat pump. I've got to wire it. I've got to plumb it. I've got to plumb it to this. I've got to plumb everything to the. Got to plumb everything to the pool. I've got to install the skimmer. I've got to install the return. I've got to level this off. And I've generally got to figure out where I'm going to put everything. Um, so stick around, hang out. Uh, we're going to do this together because I, I really don't have any idea how I'm going to set this up. But uh, I want to bring you guys along for the ride. And uh, we'll see if we can get this plumbing done today. I don't know if I will get it done today or not. Um, I tend to take my time so uh, oh yeah I've got a um, Aquatrol Hayward Aquatrol uh, salt chlorinator system too so we're going to put that in here too so there's going to be a whole lot going on I've not seen too many YouTube videos on the complete process of installing all the plumbing for a pool especially for a do it yourself or so I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride I'm going to set you up over here somewhere and a uh, little time lapse some of it and I'll show you some of it and um, explain some of it and we'll go from there all right let's get it on I've got my assortment of uh, PVC pipe fittings here I got some elbows 90 degree 45 degrees unions got my uh, water bonding for grounding got a T for that I may need more stuff but we'll see we'll see how that works out that's the return jet all the gaskets, check it out. Nice.
didn't take long, did it? Nope. Screwdriver. Let me get a better screwdriver. This one's trying to strip out those aluminum screws on the other end. Actually, these are two of the older screwdrivers I have. An old Stanley made in the USA. That screwdriver right there is probably 35 years old. I don't know how that one's probably old. Looks Chinese, but it's a very it's a very good screwdriver. But this one, I guarantee it won't strip with this one because it's got great big fat uh ridges on it down here it, it won't wear down so uh those are actually stainless steel screws i stand to be corrected and as you can see i'm struggling a little bit because huh, there's water in the pool it's too cold to get in the pool i waited too long to get the skimmer on here but uh i'm making do i'm just being real careful to make sure i don't drop any screws in the pool um i don't feel like going swimming in 55 degree water <clears throat> or trying to fish it out came talk if y'all haven't figured it out yet i do things the hard way <clears throat> you definitely do not want to use uh a uh drill a power screwdriver on this thing you can probably strip it out and then you're going to be in a world of mess
I forgot it. I found some too. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. And I found some of this. Awesome. Yeah, that's new. Where'd you find that new one at? That was, that was in the old box. Oh, what? Okay. Gunner, get back. Gunner, get back. Gunner, Gunner.
It's heavy. bonding lug so I can ground the water going into the pool that way in case there's a short in the pump or there's a short in the heat pump or something there's electricity going through this and this is going to go to ground amen Pump works. I was just going to make sure before I plumbed it in.
One eternity later. All right, so this right here is the finished product on the plumbing. Got everything plumbed up. This is actually uh, about a week or so later. So uh, got water in the pool. It's been working today. It's just it's horrible weather. It's like 50 degrees out here in North Carolina. Yesterday it was 80, and my kids are in the my adult kids are in the pool yesterday. So, but uh, today everything's turned off. But it's all working. Heat pumps working. Sand filter. Uh, chlorinator saltwater chlorinator it's a haywood and uh, pool pump everything's working right now i just temporarily have the heat pump wired up with my wire running over to my uh breaker panel over there and i'm gonna bury this uh i'm gonna bury this uh wire it's a direct burial uh probably uh next week sometime but uh there it is and the heat pump does pretty good i mean it's got to be uh it's got to be relatively warm outside. Um, one day last week, it was uh, about 86 degrees outside. And uh, in a span of about eight hours, I guess, I turned it on first thing in the morning. The pool was about 74 degrees. And by, um, I want to say about 5 o'clock, 5 or 6 p.m., the water was 86 degrees. So um, heat pump's okay. It works pretty good as long as it's warm outside. If it's... Uh, you know 50 degrees out 60 degrees out it's no bueno i think will do no good but it'll definitely heat that pool up uh right there if it's uh if it's hot enough outside so anyway that's all the plumbing so uh everything's hooked up that's it check y'all later